Hello and welcome again. So in the last uh, video, I taught about uh, the differences between the myeloblast and lymphoblast. And whenever this question will come in your exam, then you need to supplement it with a diagram. That is a must. So uh, how do you draw uh, the important features? First, you should know before we draw it. Uh, so in the myeloblast, uh, the important point are the large nucleus, which has a fine chromatin. Fine chromatin means it is uniformly distributed. The chromatin is uniform, and then uh, in the in the nucleus you see the nuclei, which are very sharp and punched out in appearance. So just they have a sharp border, sharply delineated uh, nuclei. And nuclei you can draw from three to five, any number you can draw. And then you come to the cytoplasm. So when a myeloblast is differentiated, it is showing the differentiation. It will show these azeophilic granules. these granules in the cytoplasm and then these granules they combine to form these needle like or rods so they are needle like or rods which are seen in the cytoplasm and uh, which is a very important feature next lymphoblast they are relatively smaller than a myeloblast and they have clumped chromatin the chromatin is clumped at places so it is a coarse and clumped chromatin it has a non uniform appearance as compared to the myeloblast then uh, the cytoplasm is scanty basophilic so just a thin rim of basophilic cytoplasm you draw and it is scanty and which without any granules uh, let me show you some pictures so this picture of lymphoblast lymphoblast and these these is a picture of myeloblast so you can uh, figure out the differences here the chromatin you see there it is uniform chromatin the, it has a fine chromatin as you can appreciate here while the lymphoblast they have got a clumped chromatin and you see that uh, they have got very thin rim of cytoplasm the cytoplasm is uh, lesser in case of lymphoblast as compared to the myeloblast then when you see the cytoplasm cytoplasm they have got these or rods this is the or rod in case of uh, the myeloblast while in the lymphoblast the scanty basophilic cytoplasm it is lacking any granules there are no granules in this so first you draw uh, two circles for the nucleus and the then outer is for the thin rim of cytoplasm then let's draw it so first in the myeloblast we draw the uniform chromatin it should be uniform the color coloring should be uniform in every place this is fine chromatin then you make nuclei which will be sharply delineated circular after that the we will make the cytoplasm with granules and importantly the or rod which is very very characteristic feature then lastly the labeling so or rod then chromatin which is fine then the granules and the nuclei last lastly we draw the lymphoblast so in the lymphoblast we draw the chromatin which is clumped so we can shade it with uh, dark colored dark colors and light colors in places so it is clumped chromatin we draw nuclei we can draw a single nuclei or two then we make the thin rim of basophilic cytoplasm so cytoplasm is very less in case of lymphoblast and that is a granular <clears throat> lastly the labeling condensed or clumped chromatin then scanty basophilic cytoplasm and the inconspicuous nuclei so you see when uh, we understand the concept then we can easily draw the diagram of these cells and this will really help you in your exams and also in the viva uh, i hope this video was helpful thank you very much and uh, the feedback is most welcome in the comment section